hello everyone and welcome to the full stack project youtube channel today this video will be an extended video of the previous tutorial i did about how to upload files to r2 bucket in cloudflare so in this video i will tell you how to retrieve delete and update those uh, files that we uploaded so without further ado let's get started first of all let's see how i have implemented the get request to retrieve all the files that I have uploaded in the uh, R2 bucket. So I have added the get API request to my uh, routes folder inside API slash file upload in the Next.js. And I'm using this list object command method, which is coming from uh, AWS SDK client S3. So all of these methods are mentioned in this documentation here I will add it on the description so here you have all the uh, methods operations that you can use with the uh, AWS S3 client which is compatible with the R2 bucket uh, that we are using in Cloudflare so this is very simple so I have uh, created these uh, I have used this object command and I have passed my bucket name which is called my bucket and I'm going to uh, send this command to this R2 client so creating of this R2 client was discussed on the previous video so here we are creating a new S3 client by passing all these parameters which are coming from our environment variable so it's simple as that so once we click it once we hit this endpoint uh, we will get all the files that are in the uh, my bucket at the moment I have uh, two files in my bucket this is my bucket name and when we call it you can see we can see those two files in here Yep, I'm calling this endpoint from this uh, this page here in the view files. Yep, I'm calling it on use effect, and this is not the ideal way, the recommended way to use Next.js to fetch APIs. You can use uh, libraries like SWR or any other uh, npm package to retrieve data on load. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm using this, so you can. See in the use effect, I'm calling this endpoint here, slash API file upload, the method is get, which will hit this endpoint, and then it will retrieve the data. This is the data I'm retrieving from the API, and which is taken from here, converted into JSON, and then I get, I set these files, it comes as an array, as you can see in the console log. It gives an array, object so I will set those array to the files using new state and then I will display all these files using map in my front end so that's the normal procedure you know to display uh, array items in the front end so this is how I'm using the get method to delete the files I'm using this endpoint here uh, delete endpoint in the API route so I'm sending this API uh, I'm, I'm sending this file key to this delete endpoint here so if you see here I'm using this button on click and in the delete file the delete file function I'm sending this file dot key as well so this is the key this key is unique for each file in the R2 bucket and I'm sending this as an parameter uh, for the uh, delete endpoint and I retrieve it using URL, URL dot search params method and I get that key and send it to ID and then I'm using this delete object command which is used to delete items in the R2 client R2 bucket and uh, I create this object here so it has the bucket name and the key which is represented the each file we have and then we send it 
as usual to the r2.send method we send the delete object command we created so if we have a look at that in here so if we click delete it will grab this key for each file you see in here so this is the uh, file dot map we are using here once we click delete the specific key for each file will be sent to this delete file from here <clears throat> it will come to the API endpoint so once we click delete you can see it got deleted so after deleting after the file is successfully deleted I am reloading the page so then the page reloads and you can see the file is deleted when it comes to updating an existing file for example let's see if we want to update this image uh, it should have the same name but the content of the image should be changed to do that uh, we can do that but uh, we have to use the same uh, method we used put object command uh, which is similar to the put object command we used when posting so we use the same put object method coming from uh, AWS S3 client and the difference is in this time when we using this put command we are passing the key the same key that we uh, have to replace for example in here if we want to you know replace this image what we have to do is this is the key name key of the image we have to send this key to the r2 client here so here if you have a look I have this my bucket this is the bucket name and the key the key is coming from the uh, form that we have for example this is the update file update uh, update component that I'm using if we go to the update here so it's a simple form up, upload upload but before sending the form here I am setting the file key which is the file key that we need to replace so what does this r2.send do is it will replace the content of the file only so in previously when we use uh, post method what we do is we set the file name as the key so when we want to replace we send the the existing key and then we call the same put object command which will replace the existing file for example this is the uh, curve only dot png we have here so if we go to the cloudflare bucket we can have a look at that file here let's just download it so this is the curve only this is the png we have so if you want to replace it let's go to this point and let's update this file this one here profile image orange and then i will upload it yep it got uploaded and then uh, let's refresh the bucket here you can see the same name as the curve only dot png but if we download and see the content of the file let's save it if we see the content you can see the content is different now so the same name the file have been the content of the file has been replaced it will say take some time to reflect the changes in here due to caching and stuff going on but if we do a replace yeah it takes some time uh, to update it from the front end but yep yeah, it's updated now so that's how you can update an existing file uh, in r2 client in uh, cloudflare and also there's one thing i should add here if you want to you know display images like this so i'm adding this image url to my src in here so if you want to display images like this this url need to be activated from the cloudflare client right to uh, uh, to do that uh, we can go to the cloudflare r2 and in the settings what you have to do is you have to give public access so you can see here i have 
given this allowed here so you can you have two methods to give public access you can set a custom domain or else you can go with the r2.dev subdomain here which this is not recommend for the production level but for testing and to do other stuff you you have to activate this and then you can get this url and this url slash the file key will give you the so the existing file so i'm using images here you can use not this is not restricted to images this is the file storage you can add any files and there are different services in cloudflare to do the image optimization and stuff so this is r2 you can add anything pdfs files zip files anything so this is how i've implemented this rest of the operations crowd operations in the uh, r2 bucket so for the guys who requested it here it is and if you like this kind of content make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and put a thumbs up to this video